welcome to Sculpture Studios. Some of you might recognise this publicity piece from a few years back, the Pink Floyd Airship, specially commissioned and created for the promotion of the Division Bell album in 1994. The ship, named the Division Bell with an E on the end, was flown all across North America. For this project, we're creating a small-scale model of the airship to be displayed at an exhibition at the V&A in London. In 2017, the massive collaboration of Pink Floyd works from all across the decades was compiled to create their Mortal Remains exhibition. We're going to be creating the airship, or the Zeppelin or the Blimp, at around 10 feet long and up to proportion. After scaling up onto our large blocks of polystyrene or styrofoam, we cut the main cylinder of the shape using a hot wire. We then work around the form in segments to remove the remainder of the material. Though it looks good now in its cut shape, as though the fabric is stretched across the frame, this needs to be honed down to a smooth round shape. Aiden's using wire brushes to get rid of the hard lines, and will eventually use sandpaper to bring the form up to a smooth finish. Oh, here's Aiden giving you some of his best work for those that wanted a bit of dancing. making a, a large division bell airship. Uh, it's nice to be working for Pink Floyd again. Uh, we've just made the heads, small scale. We're blocking out the main bulk of the airship in polystyrene. And the idea is that we make this in fiberglass and we hang it up in the air with some metal work. And then artwork, the whole of the outside of it, with their two faces that look each other. Um, relatively light, so they can hang it from the rafters somewhere. It'd be nice to be included in their exhibition again after all these years. Once we're happy with the form, the polystyrene is then protected from the resin that's going to go over the top. We're using our sticky back tin foil, cool, but you want to know where we get that from, don't you? And once it's applied, we check to see that every inch has been covered before we go on top with any fiberglass. As this is an inside installation, and will presumably be moved to numerous inside locations, we need to make sure this is fire rated, so we're using a Class O rated resin for this job. No, I'm serious, you know, we don't even know where this stuff comes from. We just find it in the workshop on the morning of every third Thursday of the month, like clockwork. Little Sculpture Studios L's running around or something, we don't know. The Zeppelin. Oh, it looks like it's made out of lead. Makes it a lead. No, wrong band. We're creating the detailed elements of the airship using various boards, polystyrene cutouts, and shapes, and online bought miniature fans to create the right effect. These are adhered to the sculpture, and though these pieces will eventually be finished with fiberglass or laminated on using such material, the whole piece still needs to be handled with care. This will be even more evident once the sculpture has been artworked. Wouldn't you agree, Aidan? Yeah! We're pre-installing the metalwork inside before any artwork goes ahead, so that when we eventually install the eyelets that will allow the sculpture to be hung from the ceiling, we won't need to drill through and potentially disrupt any artwork later on. We're projecting the design onto the side of the shape to start the painting, and this is going to be a sort of colour by numbers method once the shape has been plotted and marked out.
now that the artwork's complete, Aiden's going over with a lacquer to seal the paint and to give this a little bit of protection. This is then hoisted into the air in our studio to test out the eyelets and to see it suspended before it leaves the workshop. This is then taken to the V&A Museum in London for the Pink Floyd Their Mortal Remains exhibition. There was plenty to be set up and be seen regarding Pink Floyd. Everything from original artwork, sketches, concepts for album covers, instruments, handwritten lyrics and personal memorabilia from the band were displayed at the V&A and this is a tribute to one of the most successful not only British but worldwide bands ever. The original metal heads on the Division Bell album cover were brought in as just one of many features in one of the many rooms. Aiden's original stone heads also made an appearance in the Division Bell room, next to all of the designs, the sketches, and the planning for the heads when they were first made. The real life airship has a bit of history about it. It was extremely successful whilst in operation, making numerous appearances from 1994 onwards, and those few people lucky enough to win a competition to go and take a ride. But it also has a history after it was decommissioned. Now I use the word decommissioned very loosely as it was practically torn apart during a storm where it was left tied up outside and ended up being ripped to shreds. But instead of simply being discarded it was actually hauled away and the fabric was cut into thousands and thousands of four inch pieces. These were then sold as part of a memorabilia collection in individual frames with a certificate so that others could retain yet another piece of Pink Floyd heritage. If you've enjoyed this project and want to see more of our Pink Floyd work, we've left some links down below in the video description. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter and for more of our work visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.